Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's come to my realization that not too many people actually know how to use MyFitnessPal and its little tools to make life a little bit easier. If you haven't seen the previous video about MyFitnessPal, I'll put a link somewhere in the screen. Definitely worth checking it out, especially if you don't really understand how to track your calories. It's a very quick crash course. But today I want to quickly go over some tools that we can use to make things a little bit easier when tracking our calories and better understanding how to use an app overall. Something I find extremely useful is being able to copy and paste meals. I pretty much eat the same shit every single day, so having to re-enter the same products continuously does get annoying. Um, so what I do is I click the three little dots on the bottom of each meal, and there you can copy to date, whether that be tomorrow, today, yesterday, or the day before yesterday or the day after tomorrow. So it's very useful, saves you a bit of time, um, and it just makes things a little bit easier. And from there, you can make slight adjustments to the grams and serving sizes if um, it's not to the exact T. By default, I believe MyFitnessPal only has breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks under, uh, under your meal categories. You can actually change that, and you can do that by selecting me, clicking the settings icon in the top right corner, and scrolling down to diary settings. My fitness pal only allows you to have a total of six different meals. There's not really a way around this, so what I would do is just have meal six slash snacks. Another thing that you can do, and this is extremely useful when you're trying to understand your, you know, your caloric intake throughout the week, and that way being able to determine whether or not you should increase your calories or decrease your calories, you can actually look at your average weekly caloric and macro intake through the app. After selecting the diary section, just go to the top right corner and you'll find a pie icon. And from there, just change day view to week view. And that'll show you your average macro intake throughout the week, as well as your average caloric intake throughout the week, depending on which tab you're at. And this will help you dictate nutritional adjustments based on the results that you've gathered from week to week. Uh, very, very useful, very important information to kind of process. And another thing that people do find a little bit confusing is being able to change their caloric intake and their macro intake and um, essentially all you have to do is click on click on the me icon and back to the settings icon and from there you'll just select diary settings and from there just select edit goals and this tab should appear and if you select calorie carbs proteins and fat goals underneath nutritional goals this tab should pop up and through this interface, you're able to change your macro split, your catalytic intake, and it's very simple. Um, unfortunately, it does only go by fives unless you purchase the premium version, which is a bit annoying, but I mean, it is what it is, and you kind of just have to work around it. But that's pretty much it. Quick little tips um, that actually really goes a long way and saves you a bit of a headache, you know, having to re-enter data especially. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Um, otherwise, I'll leave you guys to it. Have a good one.